Hi, friends, and welcome to, uh, welcome back to playing tribute to Fire Emblem Awakening. And, uh, this is, we're so early in our, in our playthrough here, obviously. Uh, so we just finished the prologue, uh, in South Town. And I like how in the map here you can see the, um, the chapters here. So here's West of Listol. And uh, that's going to be chapter one, which is what we're going to be diving into. Now, sometimes on the world map, there are some like extra battles and things like that that pop up for extra experience and uh, relationship practice and all that stuff. Relationship practice, that doesn't make any sense. Relationship building, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, but obviously, there's nothing like that yet. So we will uh, head on into this one. On to chapter one. Mm. I told you, it's getting dark already. <laughs> and now the bugs are out. Noisy, disgusting bugs that buzz around and crawl all over and bite you when... Ah! In my mouth! Blah. Blah. <laughs> oh, come on now, Lissa. Hardship builds character. Wouldn't help me gather firewood. <sighs> I think I swallowed it. I'll pass on finding firewood, thanks. I think I've built quite enough to character for one day. Hmm. We should probably think about food. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Well... Yes, I should think that a little hunting and gathering is in order. Now, who wants to clear a campsite? I like this music. It's playful. <sighs> it's been too long since I last had bear meat. Delicious! What's wrong, Lissa? Dig in. Pass! Gods, couldn't you spare an animal normal people eat for once? Couldn't you spare us an animal normal people eat for once? I mean, come on, who eats bear? You're meddling with the food chain. Right, Robin? Uh, Robin? Huh? I suppose a person would enjoy just about anything after not eating for days. <laughs> just eat it, Lissa. Meat is meat. What? Since when does meat smell like old boots? Wait, I take that back. Boots smell better. Right. Every experience makes us stronger, lady. Even those we don't enjoy. Really? Then why don't I see you eating, Frederick? <laughs> Me? Oh, well, I'm not hungry. I... I had a large lunch. Yes, quite. Hey. You're right, Frederick. They have fun little dialogues happening. It's nice. It's cute. <clears throat> Huh? That must be a really awkward dress to get up in. Or to sleep in. Yikes. What's wrong, big brother? Forgive me. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you, but something is amiss. Huh? Define something. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think I'll have a look around. <sighs> not alone, you won't. I'm coming too. Thanks, Lizzo. It sure is dark and quiet. Where did the birds go? Something is wrong here. Crom! What? Uh, what is this madness? Lissa, stay close. Lissa, run. Huh? I mean it. Go.
Nothing good. Lisa, you better stand back. hearing this to come and help. Quite an entrance. What's your name? Oh, here we are. <laughs> my lord, my lady, are you hurt? <gasps> Frederick! Robin! Look at her eyes. She is terrified. This poor girl. Such horrific creatures commonplace in these lands? No. They're not from the least, I promise you that. <sighs> no one is injured then. Thank the gods. Mm -hmm. Thank the masked man who saved me. If it wasn't for him, I'd be. Hey, where did he go? Right. We can worry about him later, after we put these things to the blade. Eyes open now. We know nothing about this enemy. Yes. Right. Alright, that's telling me that I can heal up in forts. Hmm, are those? Right. Abandoned forts, yes. I see. We should take shelter in them whenever possible. Even though they only fit one person. <laughs> no, no doubt they'll offer distinct advantages in battle. So they heal, and they help my defense and evasion. Yeah. Right, and Frederick's gonna have a hard time moving across like, mountains and forests and stuff because he's on horseback. Um, okay, so we've got a fort there, we've got a fort there. We've got Lissa here. Let me look at the. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over here. I don't want her to be hit with anything. Where can you go? I'll put you. I would really like you to be able to be next to somebody. Yeah, let's do this, and then you next to Krom. Or me. Because Krom can come down here. But I also need... Whoops. Uh... So, Thunder and... Well, that's unfortunate. I'll just do the Bronze Sword, though. I'm on my own, though. I don't know why these 55 percenters keep hitting me. Come on, man. Don't mind if I do. I got magic. That's dark. A dark tune. I can't use that. I don't have dark magic. Anymore. Other characters will meet. I'll have to be able to use it. Oh, and I can fast forward. That's this. it. Yay! I'm level two now. It's good to keep Krom and Robin above uh, some of the others because, again, if they die, everybody, everything ends. My steel is yours. I'm used to kind of like fast forwarding things, so. Oh, hi. Captain Krom! Wait, I'm coming! Ugh, oh, I knew I shouldn't have left him. Alright, you ash faced freaks. Which one of you wants to try my lance on for size first? 
I know just the spot for it. Shoved right up your... Hold! <laughs> Hold, milady. Hmm? Hmm? Life may be long, but attraction is fleeting. Would you leave me in your sweet dust? Leave war to the warriors, dear bird. Beauty such as you need wage only love. What in the... Oh. Ah, is the lady intrigued? Of course you are, it's only natural. I am myth and legend. I am he who strides large across history's greatest stage. The man who puts the arch in archer. My name, dear lady, is Ver- <sighs> Sorry, Ruffles, no time for this. Onward! Uh, Varian, uh, my name, it's Varian. W wait, where are you going? Pray, at least tell me your name. I'm Sully. And I'm a shepherd. Yes, yes. Sully, how divine! A starkly beautiful name, as it befits its owner, truly. Will you marry me, my dear Sully? Hmm. Will I what now? Oh wait, I get it, this is a joke, and when I put my boot through your face, that's the punchline. I realize that my manly figure, noble bearing, can be overwhelming. Tis common! So please, don't feel pressured to answer right o- ha! How's this for an answer? Ugh. Oh goodness, but those shapely legs certainly can kick, can't they? Please, my lady, allow me to accompany you, at least. Mine is a cold, empty world without you. I shall be your most willing servant, and you, in turn, will give my life purpose. <sighs> Finally. Refine anything to shut you up. What? Stop staring at me like that! So we've got some more allies. <laughs> uh, We're doing great. It's great. It's fine. Let's attack with the soccer, shall we? Nice. Falcon is like the master sword of the uh, of this particular game. <laughs> Where it's like it's important, so I'd like to use it more. It doesn't do anything though. It's not really like the master sword because it doesn't actually do anything extra. Okay, Lance is up. Lance is up. Lance's will not be up against these guys though because they look like they have axes. Yeah, that's not going to be great for her. Hmm. Varian can- ye. <laughs> Goddesses and gentlemen, may I have your attention? I, as it happens, am an archer. The archest of archers, in fact. As such, I attack most effectively from a distance. So kindly keep me one step away from peril, if you would. Yeah, so I can't actually attack right next door to that. And we can't counter adjacent attacks, so that's a thing. Of course, I know that these guys are going to try to attack him. Let me see if Sully will help defend. Because she might- the fact that she's there might protect him. Yes, it will. So I'm gonna bring him to bond with her some more because clearly he has some flirting to do. I love Sully. <laughs> He's great. Uh, alright. Um, I'm gonna bring you over here. And I'm going to bring you over here. And I'm going to equip this so that I can fight against this archer. She's still in danger over here. Yeah, bring it! I can fight back! So, uh, Tomes, since I can go from a distance, I can fight back from an archer. I can also fight back to some of the other places in person. Please don't kill me. That would be really unfortunate. Oh my goodness, leave me alone. None shall harm me. They're also good- none shall harm me. Good job protecting me there, Frederick, if none shall harm me. Yeesh. Also, the facial expressions change depending on how much uh, the health is. Like you can see here. Whoops, that is not the button I wanted to press, but that's cool. Uh, you can't see, but that's okay. Um, okay, Crom, do something. My steel is yours. Good.
Ooh. Not great. Let's get Sully over here. How far can you go? Okay, you're gonna stand there. I'm gonna regret that later. Because what's this guy's aim? Oh yeah, no, he can attack him. I'm so sorry, Sully. Er, Varian. That was, uh... That was my bad. That was definitely my bad. Because what is... Okay, so I'm gonna just range him. Okay, so I don't want to go there with her because that would be stupid. I can go here. I guess I could have healed Robin, but that's okay. I'll put Robin here. Frederick's gonna finish this guy off. <laughs> Predictable. And then Sully is going to hang out here. Okay, that protects me. He can attack back. Rarg! <laughs> Talkative one, isn't he? You can do this. Strike on back. The cool thing is, too, even if you're at a distance, and you probably saw it with uh, Frederick earlier, is that you can, um, the ally that is near the person who attacks from a distance might strike also, even though you're attacking from a distance, and he's a melee fighter. So, that's cool. Um, Varian. Yeah, yeah, we can. Go for it. There's no crit chance, so... Uh, He's not going to be happy about it, but he'll be okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bronze Lance down. Bronze Lance down! Let's bond. It's always good to bond the main character with, uh, with all the characters. Over there. So I keep talking about the bonds. Um, when you get to the, uh, the point where it matters, where you have, can have, um, oh, what do they call it? Shoot, I don't remember what they call it. But they have, like, they talk with each other. Um, and, it, and it grows their relationship or whatever. Uh, I'm going to have those as separate parts of uh, this playthrough. Like, I'll have the main stuff going on here. And then um, <clears throat> if there are... Darn, what's it called? It's, like, on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, um, when we have those uh, conversations, then, uh, then I'll put those as a separate parts in between parts. So then it doesn't you know, take up the action if you just want to see the action, or if you want to specifically go to the, um, the discussion, or the dialogue, then you can, you know, skip to that too, and it'll be fine. Yay, level three! Look at us, doing great, great work. It seems all the creatures are vanquished. This young man took care of the others. Um, I never got to thank you for before, so thank you. You were very brave. Thank you. You saved my sister's life. My name is Krom, may I ask yours? You may call me Marth. Really? Marth, after the heroic king of old? You certainly fight like a hero. Where did you learn the way of the sword? No. I'm not here to talk about me. This world teeters on the brink of a horrible calamity. What you saw tonight was but a prelude. You have been warned. Uh -huh. What's teetering? Where now? Hey, wait! <sighs> not much for conversation, is he? Right. It appears his skills are lie elsewhere. I'll wager we'll hear his name again. But for now, I'm more concerned about the capital. We should make haste. Yeah, that was a lot of explosions and fire and earthquakes. <laughs> Whoa, so this is Elise Toll, capital of Elise. I've never seen so many people. <sighs> it appears the capital was spared the chaos we encountered, thank the gods. I see no evidence of the great quake and must have been limited to the forest. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Thunderous. Look, the exalt has come to see us. Exalt. 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 That would be the, yeah, the noun version. Exalt. Yeah. Oh. 
the exalt is your ruler, yes? Ah. Yes. Her name is Lady Emberon. Huh? Is it safe for her to walk among the commoners like this? Well... The exalt is a symbol of peace, at least its most prized quality. Long ago, at the dawn of our age, the fell dragon tried to destroy the world. But the first exalt joined her forces with the divine dragon and laid the beast low. Exalt Emerin reminds us all of the peace we fought for then. Hmm. With Plegia poking at our borders, the people need her. She is a calming presence when some might otherwise call for war. Then the Elysian people are indeed lucky to have her. <laughs> She's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. <laughs> yes, I imagine she... Wait, what? She's your... But wouldn't that make you and Krom... <laughs> the prince and princess of the realm, yes. You remember Krom's name and not this. Uh, you said you were shepherds! <laughs> and so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. Uh, Krom! I mean, Prince Krom! Sire, forgive my dreadful manners! <laughs> just Krom is fine. I've never been much for formalities. Oh. The prince and princess, that explains why Frederick tolerates all the teasing, eh? <sighs> Indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of the realm. Hey. It looks like Em is returning to the palace. Would you like to meet her? Welcome home. Krom, Lissa, welcome home. Owen could take Frederick. How fared you all? Hmm. Well, we shouldn't have any bandit problems for a while. Thank you. Wonderful. And our people? It's all right. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch the borders. The brigands crossed over from Plegia. Forgive me. My lord, my Pegasus knights should have intercepted them. No. No, Fila, your d duty was here, with the exalt. And besides, we had plenty of help. What? Ah, huh, you speak of your new companion here. Hmm. And this is Robin. She fought bravely with us against the brigands. I decided to make her a shepherd. Oh. It sounds as though Elise owes you a great a debt of gratitude, Robin. <gasps> Not at all, my lady. Forgive me. Your grace, but I must speak. Robin claims to have lost her memory. It is only that, a claim. We cannot rule out the possibility that she is a brigand herself, or even a Plegian spy. <clears throat> Frederick. Crumb? Yet you allowed her into the castle, Crumb. Does this woman have your trust? Yes. She risked her life for our people. That's good enough for me. Oh. Well then, Robin. It seems you've earned Crumb's faith. And as such, you have, as such, you have mine as well. Oh, lady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick, for your prudence as always. Krom and Lissa are blessed to have such a tireless, so have so tireless a guardian. I do hope they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express something akin to gratitude, Your Grace. Fila, I assume you've heard about the deathly creatures we encountered, yes? Yes, my lord. They've been sighted all across Elise. Yes. Krom, we are about to hold council, so I was hoping you could join us. Good. Of course. <sighs> I think that's our cue, Robin. Come on, there's a place I want to show you. And I guess we'll end it there, because the world map is opening. Ah, that's what they're called. Support conversations. With that, we will end it there, and we will come to... Um, I believe I can look in the... Yes. We will take a look at the support conversations uh, in the next part, and then move on to chapter two. Talk to you guys later.